Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are talking about transistors, a switching element which is consisting of a semiconductor material. Okay? There are two types. There are more types of transistors out there. But classical types are bipolar transistors. Uh, these are the classic transistors. Okay? The field effect transistors and so on. However, in our starter case, we have two types of transistors, and this is an NPN and a PNP transistor. We are going to use the NPN transistor. You have to take care to, to grab the right one. Okay? Uh, we are using the transistor, right here, transistor. NPN. And the type we are using is this S8050. Okay. It's labeled. Yeah? These are the two, two various types of transistors. They look exactly the same. They have the same casing. However, there is somewhere a flat spot. And at this flat spot, there is either written 2222A yeah, this would be the PNP transistor, gone, or the other one, where S8050 is written on, this we are using. Now, what is a transistor? All right. What is a transistor? A transistor, <coughs> if we draw now the symbol of a transistor, yeah, transistor symbol looks like this. And then NPN transistors marked like this. Uh, this is a transistor. These are the three connectors. The three connectors are called collector, emitter, and base. Okay. What does the transistor do? Well, usually from collector to emitter, there is not any current running. Yeah? So this is blocked. Yeah. Unless at base we give enough current in, so if we rising the base to a certain level, yeah, voltage level, above emitter, yeah, then enough current is running in and suddenly poof, this is switching. All right? Suddenly this is switching and suddenly between C and E also current can flow. Yeah? So this is an electronic switch. There is nothing moving. It's an electronic, it's inside the, the, the semiconductor material. Yeah? How this is working, you will learn in, in an other topic. All right, now for us, this is enough. Okay, so whatever at B is more voltage than E, yeah? depending a little bit on the material, or a little bit, depending on the material of the, of the semiconductor, uh, we have here a voltage of around 0 0.6 volts. So you see, it's not even much. 0 0.6 volts, and that's it. Okay. With this voltage, we make this conductive. Yeah? So suddenly, we can switch. Yeah? I now show you how we are doing this. Yeah? So here, we will connect this. Oh, we use a different color maybe. Yeah. We will connect this to our Arduino. Arduino. Yeah. Out. So we have here plus 5 volt maximum. Okay. Here we have some background, of course, of the Arduino. Here we have 0 0.6 volts, yeah? and here we are also going to have a power supply, plus 5 volt, okay? And here we are producing our load. Yeah? This is the load. This is we want to turn off and on. Yeah? So here the rest, here we have our 5 volts, 
If we have here 0 0.6 volts, we have here around 4.4 volts left. Okay. This is not a very usual way of doing this. Uh, this is not a very usual way. If we have a different voltages than, than plus 5 volt, uh, here we have plus 5 volt at the base. Uh, here we have plus 5 volts, so there is no difference. Yeah? If we have here different, let's say 12 volts, uh, then we have here 5 volts, uh, here 4.4 volts, so we have here between 12 volts and 4.4 volts, we have 6, 7.6 volts. Yeah? And the current running, so with between collector and emitter, we would have a pretty high voltage and a pretty high current, which means a pretty high, pretty high uh, power. Yeah? So this transistor will get hot. If we are using here the same voltage than here, this is not an issue. If you would have such application where you have to use a higher voltage because the transistor is capable of switching higher voltages. This is not an issue for the transistor. Yeah, then it would look like this. Yeah, so you have here the transistor. Put the emitter directly to the ground and put in here the load. And here you have plus V whatever. Yeah? then this is the load. And here we are going still to our switching, yeah, which is again 5 volt, let's say, yeah, because we said 5 volt is sufficient to turn it on, because we just need here, we have around 0 0.6 volt still, yeah, because we just need 0 0.6 volt to turn it on. Okay, base collector, emitter, yeah? and here we have 5 volts. This cannot be, so we need a suitable size base resistor where the rest can drop. Yeah? This is a little bit harder to, to calculate. Yeah? So this, luckily, luckily we do not have uh, this case, yeah? so we do not have to take care about any base transistor uh, uh, resistor. Uh, we just use it like this. Yeah? So, and now, how is the transistor? Uh, I mean, where is base collect and emitter? And of course, base is the middle one, but where is the collect and emitter? You can think about it like like that. That this transistor, there's a flat spot yeah, and there is the casing like this. This is now the top view, yeah, top. And then the middle one is the base. The upper one is the collector and the lower one is the emitter. If you're looking from the bottom, it's of course the other way around. Yeah? This is why I wrote top view. I wrote here top view. So, the transistor can be used to switch higher loads, okay, depending on the size of the transistor and so on. They are really huge transistors. Uh, we can switch quite a lot, meanwhile, really a lot of current. Uh -huh. This had big impact on the controller technology and so on, because switching controllers are getting more and more uh, usable. Uh -huh. So, uh, next time I will show you, uh, next time we will discuss here DC motor. We also have the DC motor in our package and we will use a transistor to switch the DC motor. And then we will use transistor and our relay to switch the DC motor as well. Uh, uh, this will be done in the next video. So, for now, I'm already happy if you know what a transistor is, that it's just switching element right now for us. Yeah? Transistors have more meanings. They can also gain something and so on. Uh, but we are using it as switching element. So this knowledge should be enough for us right now. 
for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.